Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to count unique values by group in the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you three examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears which is called data. And if you click on this data object, you can see the structure of our data. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, X, which is consisting of numeric values, and a grouping column, which is called group. Now, if we want to get the number of cases in each group, then we can apply the aggregate function, as you can see in lines 7 to 9 of the code. So within the aggregate function, we need to specify the name of our data frame. Then we need to specify a formula based on which the group is identified. So in this case, our values are called X and our grouping indicator is called group. And then we need to specify a function. And within this function, we need to specify the length function and the unique function. So if you run lines seven to 10 of the code, you can see that another data frame object appears, which is called data count one. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that another data frame object appears in a new window. And as you can see, this new data frame also consists of two columns, group and X, but only of three rows. And the column X is showing the number of cases within each group. So in the first group A, we have two cases. In the second group, we have only one case. And in the third group, we have three cases. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the basic installation of the R programming language to get the number of unique values in each group. However, it is also possible to use add-on packages to do that, such as the deep liar package. And in the second example, I want to show you an alternative, which is based on the deep liar package. So in order to use the functions of the deep liar package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it in line 12 of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the deep liar package, such as group by and summarize and end distinct. So if you run lines 14 to 16 of the code, you can see that another data frame is appearing at the top right of RStudio, which is called data count two. And if you click on this data object, you can see that exactly the same data frame was created as in the previous example, but this time we have used the functions of the deep liar package. In the third example of this tutorial, I want to show you another package that can be used to count the unique values in each group. And the package that I want to use is called data table. And in order to use the functions of the data table package, we first need to install and load this package as well. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it as you can see in line 19 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the data table package. And in order to count the unique values by group in the data table package, we first need to convert our data frame to the data table class. And we can do that by using the data table function, as you can see in line 21 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a new data table appears at the top right. And this data table has the data table class. And then in line 22 of the code, we can use the length and unique functions as we already did in the first example. However, this time we are using this typical data table syntax that you might already know from other examples. So if you run line 22 of the code, you can see that another data table appears at the top right, which is called data count three. And if you click on this data, then you can see that another data frame was created, which is containing the count values in each group. So in this tutorial, I've explained in three examples how to count unique values in each group of a data frame. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.